arrested last week. That's your sport for now. Now, before we go, there is just time to meet Ayan Farah. She is a Swedish Somali artist who collects natural dyes and fabrics from across the world and then stitches them together. Her solo exhibition, uh, Maps, is currently on display at P.P. Halsworth, that's gal a gallery here, gallery here in London, Focus on Africa caught up with Ayan at her exhibition. My name is Ayan Farah and uh, I'm a visual artist who works predominantly in fabric. I work in London by Somali Heritage. Um, I use a lot of different materials that I source from all over the world um, to create works that I call um, maps. I tend to start with researching. I read um, New Scientist and National Geographic. I read the NASA website and information comes from all different sources. And then I find stories that I find very interesting. It's, sometimes it's places that I've never heard of. Other times I'm more specific and I will... I knew, for instance, I wanted to travel to Israel to collect clay from the Dead Sea because of its mineral qualities. Um, I also base it on different stories, for instance, um, my mother telling me all these stories from when she grew up in Somalia. She would always say I was born in the year of the red storm, which was when there was a huge storm and with red sand, and a lot of the houses were coloured by this, by this sand. So I, can, I found that story very interesting. So this work um, is titled Iman. It's a, almost like a collage or a patchwork where each panel comes from a different region around the world. Um, not just the weave, or the, the, I mean the weaving technique or the material itself, but also the pigment. And for instance, using um, mud from Israel, which is these darker panels, and then um, mixing that with clay from Gotland in Sweden. Um, I also use many different techniques where I sometimes dip um, the fabric in the clay while other times I would soak the whole panel. I feel the works represent all these different elements of you know, places and time and borders and conflicts and all these things that I've, I mean, for instance, a lot of the places where I've sourced material around the Middle East or Africa have since become impossible almost to travel to. So I kind, of, I kind of feel it was like the end of an era almost. Um, so I, I, I think that's why these, wo um, these works are called maps, because they are maps of all these other works I've made in these places that were bordering on each other. And somehow they've come together into these works that are all patchworks. Um, and it's almost like patching the world back together again. <laughs>